I have to use all my knowledge to get us through this. One chef. I didn't choose them to be here. Two teams. We've got to win. Amazing experience. But everything is about to change. Marco is mixing up the teams. Mr. Davidson. Marco is uh, evil, isn't he? One shot. You don't really want to be with Jim? In amongst the girls. Ooh. So on my team. That's fine. What have you done to this? We all make mistakes, Jim. I'm leaving this team. We have mutiny on our hands. Can Marco hold it together? Show me a veal. I got battered so hard. Throw it all away, start again. Just throw it away. I can stuff it up his ass. I'm going to punch him in the face. Just because he's bald, don't take it out on me. I've never been thrown out of a restaurant in my life. <laughs> Welcome to Hell's Kitchen and yet another packed house here. So a little tip for anyone opening a restaurant, don't charge for food. Amazing how it boosts the numbers. Well, tonight sees the second sacking and the return of one of our chefs to the real world, where they'll sleep for 48 hours, dreaming only of a curly-haired man with a bandana, berating them for no particular reason. Of course, in a week's time, just two celebrities will remain to fight it out head-to-head -head in the final. Remember, there can only be one overall winner, and that, it only seems fair, is the one with the most votes. So, an unusual twist in yesterday's master Class when Marco asked the trainee chefs to make him breakfast. Obviously, one of Jim's fantasies fulfilled. But would it be eggs Benedict, deviled kidneys, kedgeree, or a bowl of cocoa pops? So, we have one of our little master classes where you all cook me breakfast. And so, you've got ingredients, your choice what you want to do cook with them. For breakfast. Well, I'm just saying, you prepare breakfast for me. Okay. Whatever you want. You've got eight steaks. So it's 25 minutes. So straight away, you know, we kind of thought, you know, fried eggs, you know, steak, tomato, mushrooms. Not that I'd ever made a proper fry up ever. You know, we all kind of got to work. Oh my God, look at that egg. Is that too bad? Yeah, do another one. Can you teach me how to do a, a sauce, Jimbo? What sauce do you want? Cut the onion, 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 onion and mushroom. Do you want onion and mushroom? Onion and mushroom, yeah. Sauce, sweat them down. Okay. Right, in there, so yeah. nice bit of butter, and then you can add the sauce, yeah. push the sauce, reduce it right down. Yes, and, and then, then you can put your bits of cream in, and okay. then let it infuse. Okay. okay. What does that mean? My mint, and buy the mint, sir. I went. Surely not. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> He came over and he went, I'm stood right beside the mincer. And I thought he was talking to me. He was actually beside the mincing machine. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a bit rude. It's been a bit on PC today. Oh, that was funny. Come now then, girls. Come now, bring me what you've got. Come on. OK. Brian, I'm very impressed. Thank you. I can eat that. Thank Rather you. Catch them. They're very good. Thank you. I love this one. You've got to season your eggs. He told, told me about the eggs. Uh, yeah, a bit you did say you liked it rare. What's this? Um, my sauce, uh, I, I don't know what I've done with my sauce. I'll have to get more advice on that. I put in lots of Worcester sauce because you like Worcester sauce, right? But, no, it's not what I like, it's what you like. No, but you told me to make, it, make me a breakfast, you said. What I would have done if I was you, this is just my, if I was you, in your position, I'd have cooked the steak perfectly, mm -hmm. I'd have cooked the eggs perfectly, seasoned everything, mm -hmm. forgotten everything else, steak and eggs, great marriage, okay. bottle of HP sauce. Okay. So I've got to say the best in the boys, 
was Brian's, because I like my meat medium rare. Thank you. Mm. Now, what I like about your presentation, it's balanced. Tomato in the middle, a bit of steak, bit of, and an egg each side. Very good. Naturally talented, aren't we? Oh, yeah. No. Egg yolks look nice, too. It's all right. I love steak and eggs. Um, we can see you've got a husband. Good? It's good. Oh, OK. Well rehearsed. Did it many times before. But, you know, very good. I like that. Very nice. And I think best overall, I've got to go Kelly. Yay! Right. What you had was all the ingredients for one of my favourite dishes, steak tartare, which is raw meat. So what we have, we have the fillet of beef, we have the cornichons, which are the little gherkins, Capers, onion, eggs, anchovies, crushed garlic, little seasoning, mustard, Worcester sauce, Tabasco sauce, ketchup, bit of olive oil, and parsley. And so it's that simple. But I will show you how to make this very simple dish. And I thought one of you would have made it today. Did the mincer not give you a big clue? The what? The gherkin? The mincer. I put the mincer right next to it. No. Yeah, yeah. OK, so what we do with our beef, we put in some cornichons, or little gherkins. Capers, some onion, some parsley in, some chopped anchovies, as I say, a lot of people. Crushed garlic. Bit of oil. You use French mustard if you want. Yeah, Dijon, that's what I'm using now, Dijon mustard. Yeah. Worcester sauce. And I like Worcester, I like Tabasco. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> Tabasco sauce. Now, egg yolk, mix it in. A bit of pepper. Not too much. So yeah, just in the cutter. Right, I've only just realised that you do eat it raw. Yeah, because you do eat it like that. Oh, yeah. No. How come you don't get sick of it? Because yeah. if the meat's stand. bad, it's going to be bad cooked or raw. But if someone eats it... The... A raw egg, they could get like salmonella or something, so why? Again, it's. Well, if you make mayonnaise, it's raw egg, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. I'll show you how I like to eat it. Caviar, yeah. Another one of your favourites, I suppose. Oh. Get your spoons, you can eat it, but eat it first without the caviar, then eat it with the caviar. Give me your spoon. Hey, I'm Mr. Davidson. <laughs> yes, I have a big mouth. Mm. Now, try it with the caviar. Now, just search for the caviar. You see what it does to mm. I think Jim died and went to heaven because Marco spoon fed him some on a spoon. That's the nicest I've ever tasted caviar. Well done, I'm not a caviar man, man but doesn't it add to it lovely? That's the highlight, you know, being fed by the master. <laughs> He's like, oh, lick, eat from my spoon. Mm. Yes, Jim licking Marco's spoon for a change. Uh, sorry for the technical problems earlier, by the way, but we are back with you now, which is why you're obviously able to see me. Uh, well, tonight, of course, sees our second live sacking, and the phone lines are open, so get voting to save your favourite, or if you hate them all equally, sit back and relax. To keep Barry on the box, call 0901 6161 001. To keep Brian happy, end with 002. For Jim Boy, call 003. Or if Paul's your pop idol, call 005. As for the Reds, if Abby's your object of desire, call 0901-6161-006. It's 007 for Emma Dale Adele. Your third blonde option is Annika on 008. Or for silent film star Kelly, it's 009. Calls cost 35 pence from BT Landline. Mobile and other networks may be higher. Lines close later tonight and votes received after that time will not be counted but may still be charged. And your home may be at risk if you fail to keep up repayments. So next up was a chance for Marco to demonstrate something new. How to open a can of worms. Yes, with the kitchens running like clockwork and everyone comfortable in their jobs, what better time for Marco to mix the teams up? It seemed only fair after a week, so that everyone was given the same opportunity to fall out with Jim. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of having a little juggle around. Do you want to have a mix of boys and girls, or do you want to stay girls and boys? I'll stick with the boys. Boys? Mixed. Mixed would make it interesting. I'd like to help Kelly with her meat 
Mixed. Barry, I'm sorry, mate. Are you the only one? That's all right. That's OK. Marco leaves to decide upon the new teams. I'm quite up for the teams being mixed round because it means we're going to get different opportunities to do different things and work with different people. The only person who I would say I wouldn't be over the moon about would be Jim. It looks as if we might be thrown together. You and I? Yeah, tonight. Well, that's where we both meet, aren't we? Yeah. If we get paired up, you can be the boss and I'll run around after you. I don't you. want to be the boss. I'll be it. You run around after me. When the girls and boys get mixed, I don't really want to be with Jim. Because I can't bear his constant sucking up to Marco. <laughs> it's pathetic. And he, he just he makes me a little bit sick. Right, girls, boys. On, Come on. So the red team is Mr. Davidson. Meet section, red team. And I'm staying where I am. No, 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 no. You're going blue team. I like being on the blue team. I love the ladies, but I'm, I'm very comfortable with boys. Abby is doing desserts. Paul's doing fish. And Barry and I are doing meat. Brian. Yeah? Your red team, pastry. Oh, yay! I'm now in the red team. Myself, Annika, Idel, and Jim. But as I was saying, good will always follow evil. Where I bring the good, Jim brings the evil. <laughs> <laughs> That's me f***ing it. And some earplugs I need. <laughs> I prefer being with the blue team a thousand mile an hour. But there again, I'm not very goal friendly. Yeah, Mr. Davidson, what? you asked me to mix it up. Jim. <laughs> Big old Jim, who who, uh, who is who is a misogynist in any case. He decides that oh yeah, I'll, I'll say it so I'll, I'll go over to the girls. It was your choice. Swap round, mix up, not my choice. We were wrong, Marco. Yeah. Anyway, we've gone beyond the point of no return. Oh, I'm, quite... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> he's sitting over there, as miserable as be damned. And we're going, and he's half, he's hard of hearing, so I keep going, Jim. Yeah, he keeps looking around. It's hilarious, but he's not happy. I love Jim with the girls. Look at him. <laughs> he's going to be so pissed off. Hey, mate, it was his choice. Are you missing us, Jim? Are you missing us? Oh. Marco is uh, evil, isn't he? he? Keeps walking past and giggling. <laughs> How's it going down there in the red, Jim? Peel potatoes. Peel potatoes. I peeled tons of them this morning. So I'm going to lick them. Yeah. Oh. Watch me. Right there. Me and Jim. Ooh. I've had this big beef all week about our potatoes keep being nicked from the fridge. And uh, he went, oh, just nick some of the potatoes. So I went, brilliant. I said, you're on my team. I said, all week you've been on the other team. I said, you've been stealing my potatoes. So I said, at least now when I peel potatoes, they ain't going to go missing because the thief's with me. That's fine. What are you doing? Well, because I got told off for not getting all the irons and black bits off the other day. the water cloudy and no-one will know us. Yeah, but he'll come in with his big old hands. Who will? Hey, Marco. No, I'll in a minute. I like to do things properly, Jim. Go on, you're going to be great fun, you are. I'll just correct your mistake, shall I? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I peeled a load of potatoes as you come along and she picked them up and started re-peeling them. And I said, what are you doing? She said, well, you've left eyes in them. I said, no, it's fine, little bits, they'll be fine. They're not fine. And then she started to scrape the eyes. I said, look, you're throwing half the potato away. Why don't you just pick the eye out? You're just taking all the potato off. I am not taking all the potato off. We're going to have to pull five off. more potatoes for all that stuff. All right, let's show me what you're doing. I'm taking all the black bits off yeah, that yeah, you've right. left on. Okay, where's the black bit? Watch, OK. Where's the black bit there? I've probably gone over that bit, all that's right, why. Okay. Yeah, because half it's missing. Where's the black bit there? Find me one with the black bit. There. Right, yeah. One, two, gonna, three, four. Yeah, and you're going to do what? All that? No, I'm not. I'm going to do... do you've... All right, then we'll both do that together, then. No, I'm not leaving them like that. That's fine. Giant <laughs> oh, I'm resigning. It's difficult to argue with a girl or ask them to do something. They think, oh, no, just a minute. So I'm just going to chill. Jim is sat cross-legged in the floor, on the floor, <laughs> <laughs> Meditating. I'm not calling him a lazy beep. I'm calling him a lazy old goat. <laughs> Adele? Yeah? You're really cute. Am I? Yeah. 
Oh, bless you. Cute as hell. So if I say anything horrid tonight, it's because you're an honorary bloke. Well, ignore anything horrible I might say to you. Yeah. And lock your bedroom door in case I stab you in the night. Coming up, Jim stirs up Adele. Where do they find these f***ing people? Shut my family are out there. And Kelly's under pressure. Throw away, throw away, throw away, throw it all away, start again. Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen, where tonight one more celebrity will be disappearing from the programme, only to reappear in endless afternoon chat shows and numerous tacky commercials. Well, before the break, Marco took the red and blue teams and shuffled the pack. And as with any game of cards, no one wanted the Joker, or Belensky, as it is in Abbey speak. Good news for Brian then, he's out of Jim's team. Bad news, so's Jim. Now, with service approaching and two new teams ready to go into battle, how would Jim cope? He'd spent a week annoying the blue team, ranting and raving, upsetting people and sulking. But from now on, things were going to be dramatically different. He'd be doing it to the red team. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Mick. Mick, we need to meet you. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. OK, red team, please. Again tonight, 76 customers. We're all a bit more fatigued, we're all a bit more tired. But again, same strategy, even though it's different teams. Stay focused, concentrated. We have to dig down deep tonight, because I think we'll get a hit somewhere in the service. It'll be very, very hard. So let's not be scared of the service. We've always got through everyone so far, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. As I always right. say, just trust me tonight. I'm tired and I feel the pain. But I will take you by the hand again, and I'll take you down that road, and I'll get you there. Good service. Thanks, Marco. Thanks, Marco. What's where? <laughs> OK. Yeah. By your benches, please. Tonight, we're one man down, which we've been for a few nights now. But we've got two new members in the team. So you've got a new partner. You've been put into a new position with strange people around you. Well, maybe not so strange, but you know what I mean. And all I can say is stick to what we've always said. Stay concentrated. Keep on pushing. Keep on concentrating. Keep on communicating. Keep on wanting to feed 76 people a night. You know, just because we've done it the last five, six nights, that doesn't mean that we don't want to do it tonight, right or wrong. OK? Thank you very much. Oh, my good God. That's Vanessa Pell. I can't wait. We're, we've been so excited today, haven't we? <laughs> it's so complicated. There are so many ingredients. It's quite difficult to grasp the concept of each individual dish, let alone cook a blinking thing. She's very good at roast dinners, but just she doesn't like the process of cooking and preparing. The thing about Mum is she's missing the passion in uh, when she cooks, and hopefully Marco will instil this sort of passion in her. Oh, it's, it's not fast, but it's slow food, so it will take a bit of time tonight. Okay. How long? Oh, about half an hour. <laughs> Been there, done that. Definitely. I do not envy them. Um, Jim Davison looks seriously pissed off, actually. <laughs> Where do they find these f***ing people? Shut my family are out there. Bloody oh, cheek. Where'd they find these people? Jim there, clearly not happy about the new team arrangements, spending most of the evening giving Brian looks that were filthier than Marco's bathwater. So with the all-new team formations in place, the next service was always going to be something of a challenge. But as far as Marco was concerned, it was just a case of another day, another bandana. Spatula's there. If you hate me after we finish, just remember the moment now. Here we go, ready? Reveal to someone yes, Marco. your way. Marco glares a bit, doesn't it? But he works so hard. With salmon and soul. If I don't make change now, I'll really struggle next week. So I've got to make them all stronger as individuals. Where's your veil? Show me your veil. Show me your veil. But I had to do double the work. 
otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah. Push, push, push. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Now, two caviar, two foie gras, two veal, gin, one trotter, one salmon. Roger that. When we had all girls, we worked spot on as a team. Tonight, Brian and, and Jim. Brian, no problem with whatsoever. With Jim, the teamwork weren't up to scratch. Who's put this on again? Well, that's me. Sorry, Jim. Come on, that's two now. Sake. Well, we all make mistakes, Jim. I know, yeah, I'm just pointing them out. That's two f***ing ragus you put on and two gone f***ing up. It was going to be difficult working with new partners, but I, that's the catering industry, I suppose. How do you not moan at someone for setting fire to your piece of toast? Chatting to Brian, don't get the things cooked. I don't think he dislikes me. I just don't think... You know, he's come from working with Barry, who is probably one of the nicest guys I've ever met, to kind of, you know, coming to work with a young, ditzy girl. And he probably doesn't like that. One scallops in the other, one consomme, one salmon, one sole. Send it. Put, you, put the tray down, then you don't want your work better, don't you? Put yes, one Marcus. Step time. If I work like that, we get nothing out. That's going to be six minutes. We're really about to you know, come on, Tim. I'm actually ready. I think that's more important than a few sex, Tim. Sex takes one minute to cook. Yes. Had a, had a Barry, come on. Oh. You'll okay? well, get yeah. yeah, don't worry about me. It was Kelly and I our first night uh, together. Um, in, invariably, there's going to be a mistake along the way. Throw away, throw away, throw away, throw away. Throw it all away, start again. I burnt a fortune's worth of fragua and Marco said, just throw it away. Sorry, Marco. Throw that burnt foie gras away. I don't want to be reminded. I did, Marco. There's a piece there. I don't want to be reminded. I didn't do so badly on the red team, but since I've been on the blue team, I have not been able to cook. Mm. It's bleeding, you know. Yeah. It's... Yeah. No, that's Sorry, boss. End. Blue yeah. team. The view is Another slightly... Shot, what they do, slightly undercooked, that view. Which, which, which kitchen was it? Blue, boss. Two more veal on, team. It was slightly undercooked, that veal. Two more veal. Two, more veal. Two veal came back. Undercooked, um, rare in the middle, and uh, Marco agreed that they, uh, they were undercooked, and he was vexed about that. Right. Why do you have to pick two big ones? I just took from the tray you told me to. Should I put on some more yeah, oil? Yeah, take that, take that out, take that out. The... Get a tape. fresh pan on. Get a fresh pan on, please. Neanderthals. We sent them raw veal, yes? We gave them raw veal tonight, yes? So when two people, when it goes in the bin and they're sitting there and they're not eating, we have to cook it again for them. Do you think we should give them a piece that thick or that thick? Tim. What have you done to this? I was cooking it and then they asked for the mash, Jim. I can't do two things at once. I'm leaving this team. You keep moaning at me. We're not wearing these red silly hats and these red aprons for nothing. We are the red team, regardless of now the boys and girls have, uh, have been mixed. We are the red team, we should work together. Spatula, spatula. Who put his spatula up? Oh. Yeah, that's the that one. Who put it in there? Probably me. Please I've don't. Apologized. Please don't. I haven't had any <laughs> lost me frog while then. Oh, stop moaning. You want to do it, do it. Don't take this away. I'm it was there, it's been there all night, actually. Yeah. All he's done all night is his veal. I'm not allowed to touch it. I've been accused of stealing his you know palette what? knife. Palette knife, I'll stuff it right his ass. Oh, it's yeah. well, How's your night been? No teamwork whatsoever. I know. Honestly, I could have cried no, that no, twice. No, 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 no. I saw it all. It was hideous. I just had to take some really deep breaths, cos I thought, I'm either going to go one way and punch him in the face, or I'm going to go the other way and cry. I'm not going to allow myself to do either of them. Not over old JD, anyway. I can't do the red team anymore. <laughs> it. I can't do it. Still to come, it's restaurant hospitality, Marco style. Marco, look at the veal. It's pink, medium rare. Fatty. Well, you're not too slim, are you? Let's be honest. And the diner's verdicts are in. The start of the scallops are beautiful. Oh, sorry. Annika, you got something right for once, girl. Presentation was oh, great. Thanks, Marco. Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen. An exclusive restaurant with top-class food and a celebrity clientele is the Ivy. But we're not doing badly here, if you like raw veal. Uh, let's see uh, one or two of the victims of the diners in tonight. Uh, we can see 
Uh, that's a table of celebrity chefs, or as Marco would call them, chefs. Not sure if anyone else is... Uh, oh, that's uh, Jane Torville, star of Dancing on Ice, a reality show where uh, celebrities try and learn a new skill. Pointless idea. Hope she doesn't eat too much. Christopher Dean's still going to lift her up. Uh, now, before the break, we heard that Adele didn't know which to do, punch Jim in the face or cry. Don't know about you, but I hate to see a girl cry. And already Jim wants to quit the red team, leaving Adele, Annika and Brian with one big problem. Who's going to hang up the bunting? I've just been told the phone lines are now closed, so please don't call as your vote will not be counted, but you will still be charged. Well, back to last night, and for one kitchen in particular, things were about to get very busy indeed. Vanessa Feltz was ready to order her dinner. You look a bit concerned. We actually chose the blue team, right, because I didn't actually want Jim Davison cooking for me. That's why we chose it. Mm. You hate it. Why? Eat it's, it. not, um, like... it's disgusting. I think I'm going to be. You're not. Yeah, I think so. He's not. I need to know what this is stuffed with. Uh, it's chicken, moose, and wild mushrooms. That, I'll tell you what that is. That is a freestyle mission dish, would you believe? Is it really? Yeah. Is it? Positive. I'd rather go to the McDonald's than eat that. <laughs> Seriously, it's disgusting. Well, it's not disgusting, it's not to your taste. It's not, not to my taste, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm quite happy to try and, try and change it for a veal if you wish. Yeah. If you don't mind waiting. Deville? No, yeah. I don't mind waiting no for the deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Not at all, you won't be. Marco? Yeah. You should have had Jim Davidson cooking. <laughs> I think that'd be worse. Jim, 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 Jim. Yes, cook me another veal. Because he ordered, he ordered veal, he ordered a truck and he didn't like it. All right, I'll cook you another <laughs> veal. I'll take it out and shove it up his ass if he wants as well. Ah. So on behalf of the kitchen, this is being cooked by Jim. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you're taking a mickey. Not at all, no, I wouldn't there. No, 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 oh, not. This yeah, is cooked by Jim for you. Jim cooked this, did he? Yes, he did. No, oh, please, try it, please. OK. That looks fantastic. It's not pink. That's very nice. Yeah, it's better? Yeah, it's lovely. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. My compliments to the comedian. And as one customer complaint is resolved, another is heading towards Marco. Get a haircut. Marco, look at the veal. It's pink, medium rare. Fatty. Well, you're not too slim, are you? Let's be honest. Look, stop being an egotist. Table seven. Go. Go, come on. Arsehole. Nicholas. Yes, my dear. What table's the arsehole on? This one's up. The one just came up then. What did he say, boss? I don't know what he said. What did he say? No, it's, it's a, it's a cod de voie. It's from the rib, yes? yes. It's like a rib bite steak. He's always got that band it's of right, fashion. Right. Yes. You can't do anything about the cod de voie. No. Look, just because he's bold, don't take it out on me. Well, what, did he, what did he want? I don't know. A wig. He needs a wig. Tell him he needs a wig, not a meal. <laughs> what a total cock he was, eh? Absolute cock. Take everything off his table. Yes, my boy. Okay, Trey, let's go, please. Trey. Let's spoil his Get evening. Get the tray. Sport mine. Oh. Hang on, I'm going to go wash you to me. I'm sorry. You've ruined your own evening, he says. There's not much I can do. Unfortunately, you shouldn't have stormed up to the bar, so I've had. Simon. I've never been thrown out of a restaurant in my life. You complain about something, you get thrown out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The job's hard enough without bald-headed men coming up to the palace. So our table's been cleared, the food's been taken away, we don't have a drink, and we're being thrown out. Thank you. The whole evening's a disaster. Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Poor guy getting insults about your hair from a man who looks like Wurzel Gummidge. And in case you're wondering, Maitre d' Nick's fall did result in a nasty injury. Marco laughed so hard he tore a muscle. But if you want to come and watch Nick cartwheel across the restaurant floor, this is your chance to win a table for two, travel to London and overnight accommodation. To be in with a shout, just answer this brain teaser. A spatula is used to what? A, sieve flour, B, turn food, or C, boil water. 
do call us if you have half a mind on 09012 Calls cost £1 from BT landlines, mobile and other networks may be higher. Or text HELL plus A, B or C and your full name to 6337. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate reply message. Entrance must be 18 or over and lines close at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. If that's not absolutely clear, I'd be happy to pop round to your house and explain things in more detail. Uh, join us in a few moments uh, for tonight's grand sacking when I'll be raining, I think the polite expression is, on someone's parade. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen. Well, the remaining eight celebrities are joining me now, and I'm sure the diners are all thinking as one. If the chefs are all in the restaurant, who the hell's cooking our dinner? Uh, so let's now find out which of the chefs will be hanging up their apron tonight, because the results are in. Good evening, celebrities. Good evening. Good evening. The public has been voting to save their favorite chef and the one with the lowest number of votes must leave tonight. In one week's time, two will fight it out to win Hell's Kitchen. But right now, one more has to go. So in no particular order, the first person who is safe and returning to Hell's Kitchen tonight Is Adele. <laughs> well, Adele, if you'd like to go back into the kitchen, <laughs> carry on your work. Huge relief. The second person then to be saved by the viewing public is Barry. <laughs> well done, Barry. <laughs> In you go, fighting all the way, popular choice. The third person, the third person returning to the kitchen this evening. Is Abby. You go back, you're safe, congratulations. So, three are safe, and the fourth to be saved by the public vote is Brian. Yes! Well done, Brian. Back you go. You have been saved. So, congratulations to Brian. The fifth person. Staying in the kitchen. Is Paul. Yeah. Well done, Paul. So, just three left. Only one of whom is safe. And the sixth person to be saved by the public Is Annika. <laughs> well then, Annie, back you go. And she so wanted to leave, which means it will either be Kelly or Jim. And I can reveal that the viewing public has decided that the person to be sacked and that should leave Hell's Kitchen tonight. Is Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, if you'd like to say your farewells and then come and join us at the bar. Jim, you can go back to work. Sorry. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. <laughs> Are you sacked too? Yeah. No, I'm sacked. You're not. I'm, I'm not sacked? Yeah. 
Glass of champagne, sit down. Is it cold? Uh, well, I hope it's cold, yes. Can I have a foot Good. rub? <laughs> Not just yet, no. Later. Um, are you happy, sad, relieved? You Everything. Tell me. Um, what's, uh, it, is, is this a burnt been, hand it, here? It's been an extraordinary, extraordinary experience. One right. I will never forget. OK, well, let's just see some highlights of, of that experience. We can see the best bits, the highs and the lows of Kelly. <laughs> When I first saw Marco, I thought, oh, holy mashed potatoes. What did I say, Kelly? Why have you made a mess of my plate? It could get quite wacky. Oh, Who turned the oven off? I've been to hell. Throw it all away, start again. I've had a rough evening. I'll be in therapy after the show. <laughs> It's an extraordinarily incredible adrenaline rush. Keep on pushing, look. There you are. Just take the pin. Thank you very much, Kelly. OK. You've been a great help tonight. But I'm having a blast. You're having a blast, you said. So you must have been enjoying it. Uh, Marco is extraordinary. Is he? He's really an incredible human being. He's stronger and got more gumption than anybody I've ever met in my life. Right. If you put a couple of people who've run marathons in there, they couldn't do it. So you're a fan. You're I'm a big a, fan I'm of I'm a big, big, big fan and of And do you Marco. feel as if you've learnt a lot while you've been here? Yes. Fingers are for burning. Right. We all know that one. Yes. And it, it seems to be true. Everyone seems to have come out with uh, third-degree burns. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And nappy rash. <laughs> Well, let's have a look in the kitchen and see uh, whether your teammates are, are pining for you. I'm uh, sure they'll be fine. <laughs> they, they seem to be surviving at the minute. Who did you become particularly right. chummy with? Rosie. Right. I guess they're getting rid of the old birds first. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Rosie was the one that you kind of connected with first of all. And then when Rosie left, was there anyone else that became your, your mate? Um, I loved the lady that I was working with. Um, <laughs> Adele, Adele, Abby. Adele. You've forgotten them already. Adele, Adele. Adele. And Barry, Barry, I really love Barry. He's, he's wonderful. Right. Everybody's wonderful. Uh, who do you think, was there anyone that kind of struggled in there? Or were you all roughly the same level? Um, to tell you the truth, I've been so busy burying my head in shallots and you veal didn't and notice pigs anyone else. and insides of animals. <laughs> but would you pick anyone out as being the best? Being the best? I mean, yeah, who would we, should we put our money on? Who do you think is going to win? I think Abigail really wants to to win, and and uh, um, the one I guess... <laughs> you've got already, Brian, yeah, Jim, maybe Barry. My partner. Who was my partner? Adele. Adele. Yeah. Yes. You keep forgetting. I keep Adele's forgetting, name. and she's so wonderful. I think yeah. she really wants to win. Well, Adele and uh, the, both the A's want to win. Yeah. Well, well done. Anyway, thank you for sticking thank you it very out much. as long as you did. Thank Stay you. there for a moment. Sadly, Kelly has gone, uh, but the good news is another chef. Uh, we'll be hot on our heels. Yes, the phone lines open again tomorrow for our third live sacking as this week's mass exodus begins. That's all we have time for tonight. Join us again tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on ITV1 for a feature-length 90-minute show. But from all of us now, it's a very good night. Well, once again, we're very sorry for the technical problems experienced earlier, and we hope it didn't spoil the programme too much for you. You can text HELL to 8339 for the latest news, gossip, profiles, and much more from the show. Text costs to standard messages. Can Holly and Fern find the perfect partner for a lonely single dad? Only one thing for it, better go dating. That's next up here on ITV1.